Man, that is awesome music. What's going on, everybody? And welcome to the first, first inaugural episode of the Amazon AI Hour. And my name is John Aspinall, here with my Amazon guy. And I'm here to talk to you every Thursday, at least for the first couple of Thursdays. I'm going to do them twice a day. So you're watching me now, if you're watching live, now at 12 noon Eastern time. And then I'm going to go live again at 7 p.m. Eastern time, at least for the first couple of weeks, just so I can get an idea about what works, what doesn't work. But anyway, the whole focus of this segment of this show for about an hour, maybe a little longer, depends on what we got going on, is to show you guys how we can utilize AI or artificial intelligence with your Amazon business, right? So I, I, I used to do the podcast yesterday uh, for ASIN Review Live, where I talk about CTR and all that kind of good stuff. That still goes on. Go check it out. Um, but for me on this one, I'm focusing mostly on showing you guys how to apply, practically apply, practically apply to use in practical ways, AI in your Amazon business. So I'm going to take some questions in a little bit, but I'm going to go into the basics of AI. And this, this episode is going to be more along the lines of the basics or the fundamentals or the AI options. And then as we progress, we'll talk more about prompting and prompt engineering and how to get the most out of AI and all that kind of cool stuff. Does that make sense? Give a thumbs up over here, over there, if that makes sense for you. Give it a like. If you're watching us on LinkedIn, follow me on LinkedIn. Ryan, don't post anything just yet. Because Ryan in the back was about to queue up my LinkedIn. Don't post it just yet. Too new with this. Go follow me on LinkedIn. I talk a lot about this. If you're on Facebook, we're on Facebook too. If you're on YouTube, subscribe. YouTube subscribers get all the goodies. I don't know what goodies there are to get, but there's going to be some goodies. I don't know. We'll talk about it. But anyway, so let, let's get some hey, highs and hellos out of the way here. Hey, Eddie. Uh, hi, John. How are you? Hello from Scotland. Excited to see what you're going to bring into this live session. Sh you should be. And welcome from Scotland. It's probably like the afternoon or evening in Scotland. So you're getting ready for a uh, call in of the day. Gregor. Gregor is following me from ARL. Hi, John. Nice to see you in a new role. Thank you. Hey, nice to see you following. Waji. By the way, guys, if you know, if you don't know me, I, if I mispronounce a name, I'm just going to go with it. And that's how I'm going to pronounce your name. I'm not going to backpedal. Hand purple blue piece. Doesn't translate to YouTube, but hey, okay, we got it. So, uh, Hey, John. Uh, Victor says, hey, John from Spain. Hey, Victor, how are you? Welcome, welcome. I love all my international friends across the river, across the way. There's going to be some AI things that I'm going to talk about that might not be international, um, but some stuff is and some stuff isn't. But I'll tell you all some cool tricks on how to fix it if it's not. So let's dive into it. We're going to talk about chat GPT. And we're going to talk about the basics and the fundamentals of chat GPT and what other options are out there. Right? Cool. Oh, we got Blaine. Hello, John from uh, Mexico. Blaine, thank you for following over here as well, too. We got a lot, a lot of familiar faces. So um, let me share my screen, and we'll take a look, and we'll talk about this. So if you're asking questions, I'm going to get back to them in a second. I'm going to hop over here because I'm trying to think if I have two different sets of eyes to look. But let's take a look at ChatGPT. So if you guys know anything about AI, ChatGPT is pretty much the standard right now, right? So in ChatGPT, you have... 3.5, which used to be three, and then you have GPT-4. So um, I, I, I keep looking over here. Victor says, cool, I'm already using uh, IA on my listings. Sounds cool, this direct video. Do you mean AI? You typed it too quickly, probably. But GPT-4 is the paid version of uh, ChatGPT. So I'll show you a little bit more about that in a second, but I, I, I kind of want to talk about today the fundamentals of if you don't have the paid versions, and we'll get into another time, paid versus not paid and why that's better. But let's take a look here. We're going to make a new chat and chat GPT. You can ask chat GPT anything. So what I mean by anything, it's all about the prompts and telling it very clearly what you're looking for. Now, how can you apply that to your Amazon business? Let's talk about that in a second. But there's ChatGPT. There's also Claude. Claude.ai is an anthropic company. It's very similar to ChatGPT as far as what the prompts are. Interesting thing enough, um, there was an article that was just released talking about how Amazon uh, purchased or invested $4 billion, with a B, dollars into Anthropic, which is Claude. Um, so you're probably going to see something coming down the pipeline for um, 
Anthropic inside of Amazon. So if I take a look, I get a login here with a Gmail. I don't believe Claude is available internationally. So I have some interns that work with me uh, in social. They use a VPN to access it if they're international. So Claude will go here, and this is Claude. And then the other one that I want to showcase to you guys is Bard. So Bard is Google's version of like a chat GPT, right? Um, and they all have their different cool things. So let's go back to this. So chat GPT. What can you use with ChatGPT in your Amazon business? Great question. Glad you asked. So going here to a listing, let's pull up a listing. Let's say I'm selling mechanical keyboards. I always go back to mechanical keyboards because they're just, you don't want to know why I go back to mechanical keyboards because I have two of them sitting right here that are broken and I don't throw them out because I use them as examples. So. Let's go to mechanical keyboard. We'll click on that. Now, let's say I sell this mechanical keyboard. And here's the title, the bullet points, all this other kind of good stuff. But let's say, for example, I don't have all this information, right? And all I have is that I'm a mechanical gaming keyboard, right? So you can go into ChatGPT and you can say, give it a prompt. The prompt is what's going to give it the juice. The juice is kind of the sauce. The sauce is kind of this magic. See where I'm going with this? So you want to give it a prompt because if I say without a prompt, you're going to get a very basic reply. So I don't want to show you what that is because it's just nonsense and you've probably seen it yourself. So I want to give you best practice. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to go into 3.5. 3 so this is all free. Nothing I'm showing you right here is the paid version. I want to show you the basic fundamentals of it. So going here, I'm going to say, you will act like a professional copywriter for Amazon Marketplace listings. I will give you the basic uh, title for my product, you will give me the SEO rich title for Amazon, the five SEO rich bullet points, oops, and 500 word product description. You will ask me any details you need in order to accomplish this. Do you understand? Do not generate any results yet. Okay, so let's talk about this. So the reason I put this like this is because, and guys, screen share, uh, screen capture, uh, I'm going to try and put these prompts in afterwards into the YouTube description or anything like that so you can use these prompts yourself to prime it up. I say prime, not Amazon prime. Prime means like get it up and running. So you want to give it this prompt, right? Now, the reason I ask if do not generate anything else, do you understand? Because I want to confirm that it understands what I'm talking about before it starts to generate anything. So it says, I understand your request. Please provide me the basic title and any additional details. Okay, here it is. Then I'm going to say, no, I want you to, I want to give you the title, you do not generate anything yet. You will ask me all the questions you need before you generate content to make it uh, good. Do you understand? All right. So understand. Okay. So now I'm going to give it the, ti the title, Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. I'm not going to go super in detailed. I wanted to say that. That's it. Thank you. Now it's going to ask me, the AI is going to ask me all the things it needs to know, right? So this is where people are getting AI and copywriting wrong. You're saying, write me a description for this. And then it's just going to give you something or write me a title for this. You don't you're not getting the robot or the AI to ask you what it needs to know. Okay, so here are some additional questions. Brand and model. Do you have a specific brand and model for this mechanical keyboard, right? 
So here, let's get rid of Claude and Bard for right now because we're focusing on ChatGPT. So um, brand is, eh, I don't want to, let's call it my brand. And model, okay, so we're going to put number one. Brand is Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Keys. And the model is um, J5, okay? And I'm going to go to number two. Uh, key features. What are the features? For example, is it RGB backlit? Does it have customizable switches or ergonomic design? Um, it is uh, RGB backlit and it has um, USB-C uh, removable cable. Okay, we'll go to number three. Target audience. Who's the target audience? Target audience is gamers and um people who work from home that like rgb style okay then i'm gonna go to number four benefits what are the benefits think about how it improves the gaming experience or productivity benefits um it is uh clicky sounding to give that um satisfying feel Right? So that's the reason why a lot of people have these mechanical keyboards because they sound clicky clacky. Uh, unique selling points, uh, design elements, none. Six, compatibility. Uh, so it's good for uh, all, it's good for Mac and Windows. Number seven, warranty and support, none. Packaging, uh, none. Nine, price range, um, irrelevant. Better analysis on key competitors, none. Okay, so now I've given it all the information it's needed. So now it wrote everything for me. Super simple, clean, and crisp, right? I don't have to do anything. I could take this and that's it and put it into my Amazon listing. You just saved yourself time, money, aggravation, frustration. Now, is it the best? Let's take a look. So it's during the SEO key rich, key rich SEO rich title. Johnny Keys J5 mechanical keyboard RGB backlit USB C cable clicky sound for gamers and home office stylists Mac and Windows compatible. Okay, that's a little interesting, but um, so it's a talking about how many keys it has. So no, let's talk about we have full size keyboard. So let's talk about rewrite the above to talk about how it is full-sized keyboard with 104 keys. I'm not going to redo the whole thing. Okay. Um, good, but reflect this in the title and bullet points as well. So now it says uh, Johnny Keys J5 full size mechanical keyboard, 104 keys, RGB backlit, USB C cable, clicky sound for gamers, Mac and Windows compatible. Full size 104 keys, enjoy a spacious and comfortable keyboard, satisfying clicky sound, vibrant RGB, USB C removable keyboard. Great. So if I take a look here, right, are they talking about this kind of stuff? No, they're going to have more uh, keywords that are built inside of them, right? So then what I can do is I can go ahead and take this, here we go. Here's where we really get dynamic with it. And I would say, okay, this looks good. I will give you the bullet points for a competitor listing. I want you to analyze it and reflect it in my bullet points to be just as good, if not better. Do not generate anything now, anything yet. Do you understand? Okay, so now I'm going to paste the competitor bullet points here. So that's going to uh, analyze competitor bullet points and to sure bullet points are good. 
revise bullet points. So now it's revising my bullet points to talk about the competitors and how, so hot swappable, brand compatibility, customizable dimming, responsive typing with anti-ghosting. See, anti-ghosting was not something that I talked about in mine, but when I pulled the competition out, anti-ghosting technology was there. So this is really good. So this is good. Reflect this in the title and the product description. Eh, spelled it wrong. They know what I'm talking about. So now it says here, the title is reflected, hot swappable. They added hot swappable and ergonomic design up here. It removed clicky sound because it didn't find that to be relevant enough, which is good. And then wrote the product description out. So it took everything here and redid it for me. So here's the great thing. I can go here and I can rename this as I can name it my Amazon uh, PDP assistant. So now this is saved. So I can share this, right? You can share these with other people and the prompt is right here. You can share the link and they can, they can uh, use it themselves. But I can go in here. I've already primed up the chat. So now I can give it any sort of um, title, right? So let's say I also sell, um, let's go here. Let's say I also sell gaming headset, wireless gaming headset. I could say, great. This is good. Great job. Always thank the robots. You always want to thank the robots. When they take over and enslave us all, we want to be like, I thank you. Um, good luck with your product listing. Okay. Here is another basic title for a listing. Please perform the same tasks as above. So now it remembered everything that I said, right? And it's it's asking me more details. It's not just running and making this stuff. It's asking me more details about it, right? So I could run down the same list again and talk about, okay, so let's do the same thing again. So we're going to go here. What's the brand and model? Brand and model is um, Johnny... Johnny Headsets is the brand. J5 Headset is the model. Oh, Headset model. Can't type today, guys. Key features, it's um, Bluetooth 4.0. I just made that up, I don't know. Bluetooth 4.0, um, range of 900 feet. It's crazy, crazy good range. Um, target audience, this is for young kids, uh, ages 14 to 18 because of lower price point and flashy colors. Okay, four is the benefits. What are the benefits? No wires and no mess. Uh, unique selling points, none. I don't have the unique selling points. Compatibility, um, all gaming systems, seven, battery life, I don't know, 900 hours. Battery life. And you could even say, focus on why this is better than competitors, which are less. You can even tell it to be more. Warranty sport, none. Uh, okay, good. So we're going to send that. We're going to write it. Remember, this is the free version. This is GPT 3.5. So if you like how this is, chat GPT 4 is psh, way better. Um, so, but I'm only showing you guys today the free version because I want, I don't want, you know, I don't want to paywall anyone with this. I want to make sure everyone can get into this. So Johnny headsets, J5 wireless gaming headset, Bluetooth 4.0, 900 foot range, 900 hour battery life for young gamers, ages 14 to 18, compatible with all gaming systems. Wireless freedom with 900 foot range, uh, designed for young gamers, combines affordability with flashy colors, no wires, no mess, universal compatibility, unmatched battery life, right? Here's a product description. Here's all this kind of good stuff. So now I could say, okay, great. So I could say, let me take my competitions keyword bullet points. Okay, so this is great. I will, oh, here. Below are the competitors' bullet points. 
please analyze and revise mine to be similar to theirs, but better. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there. So here's the competitor's bullet points. They're gonna analyze them, right? And revise mine. So exceptional battery life for endless entertainment, supreme comfort, immersive sound, advanced detached microphone, built tough for intense gaming sessions. Great. Now give me the entire listing redone like this with title and description. Any questions, guys? I know I'm like blasting through the AI and some people like love watching me do this kind of stuff. But while I'm doing this, ask me any questions you have about AI. So Victor says, uh, under your criteria, do any difference on Amazon to create with ChatGPT the description with basic HTML tags? I'm already using it and I feel like yes, but it's just a feeling. What do you think? Do any difference on Amazon to create with ChatGPT the description with basic HTML tags? So I don't know what you mean by that. So um, you're not you're putting HTML in your descriptions um, because if you're talking about like formatting and style, that's a little bit different. But uh, talk to me a little bit more about that. Put, put something in the comments there to clarify. So yeah, so you can see this build out the whole entire thing for me. So here it is, right? So now I can say, where's my title, right? So let me take the title here of a co competitor. And I'm going to say, here's my competitor's Kyle, uh, title, competitor's title. Make mine similar, but better. So it talks about universal compatibility, 900 hours, 2.4 wireless, immersive drivers, comfort, durable frame, black and red. Okay, so you'd want to flex that to make sure it applies to your listing and stuff like that. But literally with this, you have a fully baked out AI copywriter. Like you don't need to sit there and figure it out. So if I find listings on Amazon that don't have good copywriting, so, for example, if I type in something random like olive oil, like grocery stuff is never going to have really rich kind of text for the most part, right? Um, here. Oh, that's Amazon. Yeah, you know what? Let's make Amazon's better. So here's Amazon's title for a Mediterranean blend. So is there bullet points here? Here we go. Bullet points. Weak bullet points. And A plus content. Yeah. But no crawlable text. So let's make it. Let's let's use AI to make an Amazon listing better. Aaron says, "What about placing web addresses in the search? Uh, in the search for ChatGPT? Talk to me about that. So you want to put um, web addresses in the search?" I can, there's something, we're, we're covering the fundamentals here. The, that gets a little bit more pro. Um, you could do stuff like that, but clarify a little bit more, Aaron, what you're talking about. If you want me to search uh, web addresses with ChatGPT or what. So taking a look at this here, right? So uh, Mediterranean blend olive oil, right? So I'm going to give it here. Go down here. Maybe I don't even have to give it the prompt anymore. Just do this. Should ask me. Yep. Didn't even have to tell it. Just gave it the thing and told me. Beautiful. Fully baked out. So now product and name. Uh, brand and product name. Brand is Johnny Ol Johnny's Olive Oil. Product name is um, A5 EVOO. Okay. And key features... Um, Organic, cold pressed, and made in Staten Island, New York, where I'm from. All olive oil comes from. Target audience is going to be health conscious, spell that all wrong, individuals and people who love crafted uh, artisanal, artisanal, whatever, um, oils. Uh, benefits, um, heart health, nah, no benefits. Benefits are just uh, multi-purpose in the kitchen for cooking and finishing food. Five unique selling points. 
No, it's oil. I don't know. Bottle size, uh, sizes. Yes, there's a one liter, five liter, ten liter. I don't know. I'm assuming if that makes sense. Seven is usage recommendations. Um, good for cooking and finishing on salads. And then number eight, certifications. Yeah, this is certified, organic, and GMO or non-GMO. I get the. There we go. So Johnny's olive oil. So here, here's the Amazon brand, Amazon Fresh. There. Um, by the way, everyone that talks about, I know we're not doing Asian reviews and stuff like this, but look at this image, right? Compared to everyone else, Amazon's showing bread and olives and the olive in the background. They're going against their own terms of service. Anyway, going over, I spelled assistant wrong. Bother me. Johnny's olive oil, J5 EVOO, organic, oh, they're using pipes. Look at that. Wow. Uh, organic cold pressed extra virgin olive oil made in Staten Island, New York, one liter, five liter, 10 liter, ideal for cooking and finishing. Okay. Way better than the Amazon one with the free AI. Let's go into the bullet points. Artisanal excellence from Staten Island. Perfect for health conscious food lovers. Uh, versatile culinary companion. Uh, for cooking and finishing to elevate your recipes, uh, multiple sizes, uh, enhance every dish, product description, beautiful. And look at this. Look look what Amazon has. Nonsenseville USA, population one. And you can take it and make it look a ton better with AI, right? So now, um, what if I want to go in here and I want to, this is good. So I'm going to say, this is good. This is good. Um, now I'm going to say, I'm going to throw a little flare on it, right? I'm going to say, rewrite the above to be more casual and a little snarky. Let's see what it says. Ronnie's olive oil, organic goodness, straight out of Staten Island. There's the snarkiness, right? Uh, cook it, drizzle it. Heck, you could even bathe in it. So it's being a little bit funny. We wouldn't want to put that for um, the product title, but with the bullet points in the description, that might be interesting. Crafted with love in Staten Island. So you can see versus this one, um, it says uh, artisanal excellence from Staten Island. So it's a little bit more casual, which I like. Healthy is the new cool. I like that. That reads a little bit better. Culinary chameleon. Our olive oil is so versatile, it could moonlight uh, as your sous chef. It's ready to sizzle, drizzle, and sprinkle magic on your dishes. See, that's interesting to read. Now, whether that's going to be good for SEO or not, that's a different story. Um, size matters sometimes. Choose your olive oil. Mediterranean vibes guaranteed. Turn your ordinary meals into Mediterranean feasts. See, this is very, very interesting. All right, folks, get ready to dive into the world of Johnny's olive oil. Uh, not your average oil, and we're proud of it. So this is, this is compelling. This is interesting. This is a good read. Um, whether that makes good for SEO a little bit different, right? So the above is good, but combine that uh, tone with more SEO rich words um, so that the listing gets ranked in top olive oil searches. This is your assistant. You're just telling it what to do and it's doing it. Um, so here we go. Crafted. Ultimate versus self. So it took out that straight out of Staten Island. Yeah, heck, you can even bathe it. See, it took that out of there because it has no relevance on the SEO version of this. Artisanal goodness from Staten Island. Healthy and hipster approved. Your culinary wingman. So it it combined it now. It took very serious, and then it went very snarky and too casual, and now it's refined. So you could see how now, then I could say, good, I want this, move forward with all the rest of my um, requests, right? Size to impress, great. This is great. Please use this format, tone, and style moving forward, right? So now, by the way, night and day difference for this and Amazon own listing. So if I go here and I take a look at, um, gee, I don't know. Um, what is this thing? This is a foot spa. Foot spa and heat massage and jets. Okay, let's just take that, right? 
So I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to give any prompts. It's already been given prompts. I'm just going to give it the – it already knows the drill. It's a seasoned vet. It's already in there. I'm just going to give it a title of a product. Boop. It's going to ask me all the key features and benefits. Watch. See? It did, it did it. It already knows. It's super smart. It's the employee that keeps on knowing. So I can go here and I can say brand and model. So we'll do the same thing again. We're going to do brand is Johnny's Foot Spa. Model is the J5 Foot 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 NATO. I got tornado. Key features, um, you know, bubble jets, heat. Heated water, massaging pad on bottom of hub. I don't know. Uh, target audience is going to be um, adults over 35 who work on their feet all day and want to relax and unwind. Unwind. Okay. And then benefits. What are the benefits of it? Increases blood flow, circulation, relaxes your muscles, and throw something crazy in there. Turns you into a vampire. <clears throat> Just let's see what it writes. I don't know. Get silly with it. Life's too short. Unique selling points, um, none. Size and capacity. Um, size is um, small enough to fit under your bed. So it is compact and holds three gallons of water. Uh, usage recommendation. None, warranty, none. Okay, cool. So let's run this. Now, remember how that smarky, snarky, casual, but still serious kind of stuff, right? Um, Johnny's Foot Spa model, J5 Foot NATO, bubble jets, heated water, massaging pad, relax and unwind for tired feet, compact. Revive your feet, uh, enhance blood flow, no more foot pain. All right, so it didn't remember the – here it says <laughs> – Disclaimer, you won't actually turn into a vampire, but you might feel refreshingly energized. <laughs> no, I said you can turn into a vampire. That's funny that says that. Um, but you did not do the snarky... Uh... Okay, but it didn't do the snarky tone. Um, good, but you did not use the same tone as the above. So it's going to say sorry. Okay, fits under your bed. Give your feet that. See, now I brought it back. It's slacking a little bit and I brought it back. So now it has that little snarky, casual tone. Give your feet the TLC they deserve for the nine to five warriors and beyond. If you're clocking in those hours and your feet are feeling it, we've got your back. Or should we say your feet? Designed for the nine to five warriors uh, with hustle. Feel the foot NATO magic. Ever wanted to feel like a million bucks without actually spending it? It increases your blood flow circulation. Storage game mastered. Tight on space, no problem. It's a foot ninja. It's a ninja of foot spas. It fits under your bed. Adios foot pain. This is great. This is really well done. Compared to, you know, like something like this, not interesting to read. Um, and then someone like this, like for example, if I was this brand or managing this brand, right? Look, they're moving 5,000 units over the past 30 days. Um, so they probably don't care about their organic SEO. But if you're looking to compete with these kind of guys, uh, there's no crawlable text in here. There's just uh, A-plus content. So adding this 500-plus words of crawlable text is definitely going to help. So uh, Aaron had said um, placing in a web search, yes. So it doesn't read um, web addresses. So if I was to take this link to Amazon here and I could say, let me open a new chat, right? And I say, review this link. It can't. So it's not going to be able to tell what is on the link because ChatGPT doesn't review the web. Um, it's not connected to the web. Now, 
paid versions of ChatGPT can have plugins to do that. Or if you go to Claude, Claude, I think will allow you to type in something. So it's like a massage gun product. So it's reading the web, but it's reading the wrong thing. Like this is not a massage gun. Like it's it's not a hundred percent. It's reading the wrong thing. So there's nothing out there just yet for free that's going to read the web per se. Um, but talk to me a little bit more, Aaron, about what application you're looking for for it to read the web. You know, so you're looking for it to do something specific or or what? Um, Muhammad says, "Hey, John Aspinall." Um, would it be possible to generate an Amazon rich SEO listing through competitor ASIN? Yeah, so you can do that, right? So what you can do is you can you can say um, I can let me see if I can clone this. Uh, I can't clone this. So what I'll do is I'll go back in here, and I will say, um, great, where'd it go? See, the free version is never 100% because you can see here my thing is screwed up and not... Oh, here we go. We're back in business. I will give you my competitor information on Amazon, their title, bullet points, and description. You will rewrite it to be for my product. Do you understand? Okay. Provide me the competitor's title, bullet points, and I'll rewrite it in the desired tone style you mentioned earlier. Okay, so here's the title. Here's the bullet points. And these bullet points kind of stink, but we're going to go with it. Bullet points. Here is the description. There is no product description. So we actually have none. Interface. Okay, so now it's going to rewrite it. So it's going to say, Let's rewrite it for your product with a casual and slightly snarky tone. So here we go. Uh, remote control pumice stone, because that's clearly clearly what this is here. Um, and it's going to rewrite it in my tone. Heated luxury, roll with the comfort, spa on the go. And then it's going to write me a description, even though they didn't have one. So you're able to take your competition's products. And if you tell the prompt very clearly, I'm going to give you um, the title, the bullet points, the description. I want you to rewrite it according to what my specifications are with my product, and it will do it for you because it's the robots. The robots do whatever you say, robot. Um, so that is that with that. So that's a great way for you to build out um, with ChatGPT to have your uh, SEO writing assistant or your listing crafting assistant. So Amazon has their own AI inside of when you create new listings on Amazon, where they're able to generate listings for you. It is TNC. And if you guys follow me on my old podcast, you'll know what TNC is. It's trash aroni and cheese. It is no good, no brains. So um, I recommend using something like this versus the stuff that's fully baked out in Amazon, at least for right now, because Amazon, like I said, invested billions of dollars in Anthropic and uh, it's probably going to get a lot better. Jason, how are you? He says, what benefits are there for using the GPT, GPT paid version? Is it really any better or just less work to massage it for what you'd like it for to produce? So I didn't want to get this into a paid versus not paid, but you have some questions and I want to give you some answers. So um, this is my free Prime primed up version, right? This is 3.5. Let me do the same thing on four and show you the difference, right? So I'm going to click over here from 3.5 to four. And if you're not paid, you're not going to see this. Or you're not going to be able to enable it. So um, four is over here, right? So then I'm going to go back and I'm going to say, uh, let me pull the, a prompt that I had before. What was the prompt, the, the initial prompt that I gave it? Because I want, it, I want it to be as apples to apples as possible. Okay. 
So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say this. Okay, so this is my PDP assistant. We're going to call this assistant four. Okay, now, okay, I don't understand. I'm going to go back to what I previously put over here. So I'll do apples to apples as best as possible. Should probably open up two tabs here. Let's do that. Okay, four. And then this one is this one. Okay, so I understand your request. Great. Uh, wait, does it give me the same response? Okay, marketplace listing. I'm going to say the same prompt. Okay. Let's give it mechanical gaming keyboard. So it's going to ask me the same things, but watch the output. So it's going to ask me the same things. So I'm going to go here and give it the same stuff. Wait, this is on 3.5. Why is it on 3.5? Ah, it's not right. Because I knew it was I knew it was not four because it was moving way too fast. So I think because I had multiple windows open. Dang it. So you can't have multiple windows open because it's gonna know what's going on with that. So okay, let me pull this up again. Chat GBT, you got me. I tried to try to multitask and you told me no. So let me pull this up here. Okay, you will act like this. I'll do this. Make sure it's on four. You'll notice it's four because it types slower because it thinks more. So here, I asked it this, right? And then going back to the top, it's so hard to do this. You will act like this, okay? I un This is what it replied on 3.5. I gave it this exact prompt and 3.5 said, I understand it. Please give me this. No, give me this. And it'll go back and forth with it, right? On four, it asks for more context right off the bat. Is less prompting. So it says, I understand this. I need to, it, it knows. I didn't have to tell it for the specific details. It knows I, it needs more details. Basic title of your product, main features, target audience. And once I have this information, you're not talking. Once you have this information, what? See, it's funny. It just changed what I was going to say. What a silly goose. Okay, so it needs the following information. What are the key features? Okay, great. So let's call it, um, it's hard to go back and forth, guys, between two different things, but I'm gonna do my best because I wanna keep it as apples to apples as possible. So um, mechanical gaming keyboard. Two, uh, key features and benefits, none, um, RGB lit, and target audience, gamers, uh, specific details, make stuff up. <laughs> uh, do you have any keywords in mind that you'd like to rank on Amazon? That's the big difference. There you go. Do you have any keywords in mind that you'd like to rank for on Amazon? The paid version asked that from the first prompt. After a million prompt, prompts, the, the free version did not ask that at all. Yes, I want to rank for mechanical gaming keyboard, mechanical wireless keyboard, mechanical RGB keyboard. That's, that's a big thing right there, uh, Jason. So that's a big thing. It asks what kind of keywords we want to rank for. What is the main problem that your product solves? Here's another question that it asks without me even prompting it. Um, it solves no problem. It is just a good keyboard. Any additional information? No. 
See how slower it is than 3.5? 3.5 just spits it out. This is going to be mechanical gaming keyboard, RGB backlit, hot swappable, ultimate wired and gaming, ideal for gamers. So it's taking its time. It's a lot slower because it's going to be, it, remember it asked for the keywords I want to rank for. So mechanical gaming keyboard, mechanical gaming keyboard, hot swappable. It's going to say all this gaming keyboard and then in the into the 500 words crawlable text, right? So gaming keyboard, responsiveness, superior control, immerse yourself. Like it's it's more, there's a lot more um, substance to it, if that makes any sense. Um, you can just see that it's like taking its time to craft it versus 3.5, just spit it out. So get on base. The easy thing is 3.5, it's free, right? It's a, is it the best? No. But is it good enough uh, to scale um, by using AI? Uh, absolutely. But if for 20 bucks a month, it's four is amazing. Um, see something like this, it's really, really robust in depth. It's, you know, stay connected where you can with stable lag free wire connect wire, wireless connectivity, ensuring every move is timely and accurate. It's just speaking a lot more. So free is great. Paid is way better. Um, I hope that makes sense. Mohammed says, uh, okay, that's a great feature. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, you created new on 3.5. Yeah, I did by mistake. I created the new one on 3.5. Just be careful with that because you'll know right off the bat if it's if you're doing it on 3.5 versus 4. Um, 3.5 comes out of the gate like super fast. It's almost like if you're just talking, just to talk, I'm just going to talk, I'm just going to say words, I'm just going to say words. And you're just saying things randomly just to talk, right? Um, given it's better than not talking in that analogy, but GPT-4 is more thought-driven, takes its time. Amit says, hello, John. Can I use AI for keyword research? If yes, can AI also return a brief analysis and recommend what keywords to use in front end and what to use on the back end? Yeah, it definitely can do that. So um, if we're talking about this, the more in-depth we talk about it, you want to be on paid. So when you want to start, to, if you're talking about keyword research, keyword analysis, paid for 20 bucks is going to be the better bet because for front facing, just writing and getting stuff done, free is fine. If you want more substance behind it and actually making it do some work, like do work, um, the, the, the $20 GPT-4 is going to be able to do that a lot more. So can I say that for keyword research? Yep. So I can go here and I can say... Um, here is the title. Let, let's bake it out. So you will be my Amazon keyword research assistant. I will give you the title and bullet points for my competitor on Amazon. You will give me a list of 25 long tail and 25 short tail keywords that are super relevant to this product that I would want to rank for within Amazon organically. Do you understand? Do not generate anything yet. Do you understand? So let me get rid of this one here. Let's keep everything kind of fresh and ah, gee whiz, I can't click away from it. Yes, I understand. Please provide the bullet point, uh, title and bullet points to competitors. I will generate a list of long tail and short tail keywords that are highly relevant for you to rank on. Great. So here's the title. Here's the title. Uh, and then bullet points. Oh, I'm kind of stinked, but whatever. We'll take it. We'll take what we can get. Okay. So that's going to give you 25 long tail, 25 short tail keywords I want to rank for. There we go. Done. Done, so. Uh, foot bath with jets, uh, foot bath spa, foot bath, foot bath with removal massage rollers, heated, foot spa, 
this you sit back and let it let it do its thing right and watch it's gonna get cool in a second so uh these are all long tail keywords right that's gonna give me short tail keywords ready short tail there we go now we got short tail keywords now we're gonna ask it which are the best ones for alt text and which are the best ones for backend search terms so I just took a competitor listing, gave me long tail keywords, short tail keywords, right? Great. Now, which ones can I use for the following? Alt text, uh, back end keywords. Okay, it's crucial to fix terms that are highly relevant. Okay. For alt text, descriptive long tail keywords are often more suitable for alt text. I was telling you why. So based on your product, here's what they recommend for you to use for your alt text. Okay. And now it's saying for backend keywords, it's best to use a mix. And here's what you should use for your backend keywords for this product. Really cool, right? So you don't have to do anything, any work. So you can literally just sit here and let it do all the work for you. Um, and then I could say, great. Now, um, great. Now, what hap What about if my product is, is made in the US? Do these keywords change at all? How about that? It's great selling points. You definitely be highlighting your listing. Okay. However, you don't typically need to overhaul your keywords. And for this, additional keywords, may American made. So it's talking about if you add different value props, what you should add in there for backends made in the USA, USA manufacturer, additional suggestions, title. So it's giving you like it, it's it's GPT four is like literally a full blown assistant. So it's saying, hey. I forgot to say it was made in the US. It's like, okay, well, add just these couple into your alt text and a little bit more into your backend keywords. And hey, additional suggestions. You want to put proudly made in the USA in your bullet points. In your description, you want to talk about that. In your title, you want to talk about that. All that kind of cool stuff. So yeah, fun, 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 fun stuff. Create on 4.0. I knew it. I messed up. It's my first podcast over here on this on this side of things. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, Jason says, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, Aaron Brown says, how much is the paid version? So GPT-4 is 20 bucks a month. 20 bucks a month, well spent. Uh, go to openai.com, openai.com. And just imagine if you were to um, GPT, uh, it doesn't say it over here, but it, it's, it's a paid version once you download it over here. So it's money, money, well spent for sure. But we're winding down to the hour, guys. Um, I am going to hop on again tonight at 7 o'clock Eastern time to talk more about, where is the little screen here? To talk more about uh, how AI can be used and, and super powerful in your Amazon business. And I really want you guys to follow this channel for you to be just the, the, the AI gurus, right? I want you to be able to empower yourself if you're a solopreneur, uh, you know, business of one, to be able to take these tools and replicate what you need done. Uh, Aaron says, Sound, sounds like it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, we're going to talk more about this tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Feel free to tune in if you missed this one and you're watching the replay and catch the next one live. Bring your questions. I would love to answer all the questions that you guys have. Um, I want to show you more and more and more stuff. I'm really kind of getting into the basics today, tonight, maybe next week as well. But then there's going to be a lot more fundamentals, a lot more expanding upon it of how you can use prompting. Uh, Ahmed says, thank you so much. You and AI are incredible. You're incredible, man. Thanks for coming. But yeah, guys, so that is that is a little bit it. Uh, that is a little bit it. But um, feel free to... I uh, stopped sharing my screen. I should keep on sharing my screen. Follow me on LinkedIn. Ryan, do you have my LinkedIn queued up on this one? I don't know if Ryan has my LinkedIn queued up on this one. Maybe not. Ryan, make sure you get my LinkedIn queued up on here. Follow me on LinkedIn. I'm posting a lot more stuff on AI, how to use it with that. There it is. There we go. Ba, 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 ba. Follow me on LinkedIn. I talk about AI and CTR. I love those two things. But yes, we are my Amazon guy. We have podcasts 
almost every day of the week. Um, we have our full service management here. Talk fun about that. Um, talk fun about that. It's a lot of fun to talk about that. We have our SOPs. Uh, we're going to get on a coaching call. Grab me for a coaching call. We'll talk about CTR. We'll talk about AI. We'll talk about all this fun stuff. Um, all this kind of good stuff here. So we um, also, if you're interested in if you're an agency owner, we, we launched this really cool thing too. So my guy, if you're an agent, Amazon agency owner, and you want us to help uh, grow and scale your business, we're doing this, my agency guy too. So a lot of cool things if that interest you. Feel free to contact me, but we're doing a lot, a lot of good stuff. So yeah, so Tuesdays, Marissa has her PPC AMA. Wednesdays, Joe Foreman is doing, taking over for me for ARL, ASIN Review Live. Tune in for that, 12 Eastern on both of those days. I'm doing 12 Eastern on Thursdays for Amazon AI Hour and 7 p.m. Eastern time, at least for a little bit. And then Friday, uh, Tom Fitzgibbons and Faith Denniston are going to be doing Friday AMAs. Ask them anything. They're geniuses. You can ask them Everything under the sun. If I do this thing one more time, it's like I'm pushing ghosts out of my way. But anyway, guys, it was a pleasure uh, for all of you to join me today on my first podcast for Amazon AI Hour. And I look forward to seeing you again with more questions next week, later tonight, tomorrow on LinkedIn, whatever it is. Thanks for coming. And I look forward to speaking to you all soon. All right. Bye-bye.